Jean Gascon is long past, but we need to know about him because he did something for Stratford and Stratford Company. He did something for English Canada. So what shows did you do with Jean? Oh, Comedy of Errors, um, Tartuffe, um, The Imaginary Invalid. Um, um, oh, I can't remember. I did lots of things with, with Gascon. I, and his, I'd have to go back and look. No? His palette, his personal colors, what would they be? Oh, well, Gascon, of course, was a huge delight. He was full of, of passion and laughter and, and, and anger. I mean, when he got angry, he, he was almost like a kid. He got just furious, and then it would all be forgotten, you know, five minutes later. Um, I remember we had a, a dress rehearsal once of Comedy of Errors in which afterwards, and, and we'd tried so hard, all of us had really, we'd really done, we thought really well. And at the end of it, he came, he dragged himself onto the stage. Well, you would have thought he was playing Lear. And it, this was the worst rehearsal that anyone had ever seen. And it was so sad because he wasn't going to live very long. I mean, this was years and years and years before he got, wasn't going to live very long. And, and he didn't know how uh, he could have gone through rehearsals with us all. And, and here we're left with this. We're left with nothing. Well, he simply threw up his hands and walked away. And, and we were just devastated. And the next time we tried really hard, and of course it wasn't very good. And he came afterwards and said, yes, 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 that's yes. Now he, I think he'd realized that he'd gone too far the first time. And the second time he had to kind of buoy us up. So you never knew where you were with Jean. It was, it was either exaltation or deep, deep remorse. <laughs> no, that's from erratic steering, or that's from a very... No, I think it was just from an overabundance of feeling. I think he was so French in his approach. I think lots of times, genuinely, he felt that he didn't see enough vitality in us because we were English, you know? He didn't see that kind of particular uh, joie de vivre he was, he was looking for. And I'm sure from time to time it depressed him and perhaps it sometimes it got the better of him and then he would go home and talk to Marilyn, talk to his wife about it and she would say, oh, come on, Jeannie, uh, perk up here, you know, everything's going to be all right. And then he'd come back and he would be more accustomed to us being English and, and he would appreciate what we did have to give and so then he was, he was forthcoming again. Um, it does raise the question of the English-French divide. It does, That's the French it? sense of drama, of language, of being physical, of yeah. being presence, has a Latin color to it, and yeah. the wonderful English sense of presence is less so. Anglo-Saxon. Yeah. So, yeah. were you infected by by Jean's uh, sense of physicality and Frenchness, or is this it bounces oh, yes. off the outside of our English souls. And oh, no, oh, no, I think <clears throat> we were very infected by it. We wanted so much to please him, you know. He was so, uh, oh, he, you, you couldn't work with Jean and not adore him. 